Remembering a Kansas City legend. The Chiefs in the city of Kansas City have truly lost an icon. Paving the way for Patrick, a giant before George, Lynn Dawson. He came to Kansas City when Kansas City was not sure of himself. Tonight, a reflection on how much Lynn Dawson gave to the Kansas City community. He was a good one. We lost a good one. And how his legacy lives on. That legacy built from decades of hard work and dedication to the team. Dawson led the Chiefs to two Super Bowls, taking the trophy in 1970. Here on KSHB 41, we wanted to take the time to honor the lifetime Chiefs legacy by taking a look back at the path he carved for himself and those who came after. When Lynn Dawson was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1987, his former coach and Hall of Famer Hank Stram introduced him. Stram said when he thought of Dawson, he thought of family, honor, class, style, grace, dignity, and leadership. Stram also said he thought of winning. Those characteristics began when Dawson was born in 1935 in Ohio. He later played football for Purdue University. The Pittsburgh Steelers drafted Dawson fifth overall in 1957. His Hall of Fame career began to take shape when he joined the Dallas Texans in 1962. The franchise then moved to Kansas City, where Dawson would win 93 games in 14 years. He even took the team to two Super Bowls after losing to the Packers in Super Bowl I. Dawson led the Chiefs to their biggest win in team history at the time, a win over the Minnesota Vikings in Super Bowl IV. Following the 1969 season, Dawson earned the MVP. Over his career, Dawson threw for more than 28,000 yards and 239 touchdowns. In 1976, Dawson retired from the NFL, but he didn't leave the sports world, nor did he leave the Chiefs. He joined the Chiefs radio network in 1984, serving as the color commentator until his retirement in 2017. Dawson also served as sports director for KMBC TV until 2009. In 2012, Dawson was again inducted into the Hall of Fame, well, this time as a broadcaster. Back in 1987, in Canton, where Stram was wrapped Wrapping up his introduction for Dawson, Stram said greatness is measured by the test of time, and Lenny passed that test with flying colors. Lynn Dawson was 87 years old.